You hear a lot of bad rumors about me, so it's not like I have a very clean image. I'm not bothered about what people say about me. There was something that was on Twitter that I did a DNA about my children and two who are not my own. This is, a, this is something that happened eight years ago, to be precise. Then they tried to make out it happened yesterday. And I'm feeling very sad with all my fame. Do I look sad to you? Even then, I wasn't sad. I did the DNA then. And what, what they should have done is, if they want to bring that story about, they should have asked what happened. So, um, sir, you want to tell us what happened that eight years ago that you um, had the DNA? Uh, so it happened now. It was eight, eight years ago. I did do a DNA. And what happened was, one of my girlfriends was caught on the phone with, I'm not somebody that even mention names. I don't mention anybody's name, but I'll tell you, one of my girlfriends was caught on the phone talking to her lover or whoever. And a very close family member walked in. And I said, ah, you are talking to your boyfriend. And she put her leg on my table. And she, was, she didn't know I was standing beside her. Yes, darling. Oh, darling. <laughs> and she didn't know, because she thought I was in the bathroom. And I walked out. And I was just listening to the conversation. I said, eh, show on my chair. First of all, my chair in my room, nobody sees the out of respect. She now sat on the chair, then put her leg on my table. So I was like in complete, ah. So because I'm not here, you are disrespecting me. On top of that, you are saying, darling, ah, I love you, can you call all the sweet words. I said, so you are talking to a man on my chair, in my room. Uh, at least if you wanted to, decide, no, then she denied it. She said, it's her friend. So I said, give me the phone. She refused to give me the phone. I said, if you are sure you are talking to a girlfriend, eh, am I going to give you a slap or beat you? I just want to confirm. Where she, she gave me the phone. I called the number. The guy picked, said, oh, I love you too. I miss you. I said, ah, this is a man. I said, but there was a big room already in the shrine that the child does not look like me. And the child, they, they already, apparently everybody in shrine except me knew the father of this child. And my elder sister was like, just for, you know, if you die today, my dear brother, if you die, do you know that you are going to cause a lot of problems in the family? Because this child that is not a Kuti, will start, when Kuti say yes, this child will say no. That is what children that are not children of that family mostly do. When you find out why a lot of families are in disarray, you will see that maybe one of that ch the children there is not a true born. And she was, I didn't want to do it, but when that idea, I said, true, what if I died? These children, if any of these children that everybody is saying are mine, are not mine, then I'm going to cause a lot of trouble in the family. Okay, for security reasons for the family and my own sanity, let's do a DNA. The mothers, many of them refused to do it. Say, so I'm even sure that it's my child, let's do it. And then they went to do the DNA. And I found out two are not my child, children. 